everyone. I'm here to show you how I delegate my tasks to my staff and how my staff delegates tasks to me. To use that, I use monday.com. So this is what the initial screen looks like, and this is my login. And then I'll just show you frame by frame um, of what it looks like. So there are a lot of things that I use monday.com for. Um, my team tasks is just one element of that. So if you look over here on the left screen, these are all the things that I use it for. There's a client info sheet that has all the information about my clients, um, the names of their kids, date of marriage, um, what kind of case they've got, their phone number, all of those things. I've got a case matter status. When was discovery filed? When was the case filed? That kind of thing. Um, the follow-up emails, you can actually email tasks directly to the board by inserting a specific email address. I've got trial prep boards, I've got workflows, I've got contact information. So I use Monday for all of those things. So it really does replace my a practice management system, which I don't use because it just turns out to be busy work. This is something I actually use every day. So today we're just focusing on tasks. So the, this is my overall team tasks board. And these are the groups that I have grouped it into. Administrative, people owe me money, that's one group. And so each is a separate group. So if I click on here, it's going to expand it. I'll show you that in a different screen because I have to crop it so I can hide my client names. But these are the different groups that everything belongs to. And you can easily move rows and on monday.com they're called pulses. You can, use, you can move pulses from one category to another fairly easily by just dragging and dropping or right clicking or whatever. Um, the ones I use the most are going to be the top four. There are also automations that you can set up and you can see over here, I've got 10 automations. So you can set it up where if you change a status, something else happens. For example, when something is assigned to me, I get an email. When I change something to Krista, who's my paralegal, needs to send it out, she's going to get an email. When a client pays and I click on the paid button, it goes down to this completed section here. Um, if a task is done, I hit done, it goes to the completed section. So now I will expand and then crop and then show you these individual little boards. Okay, so this is the board. This is the first section that you saw. This is administrative people who owe me money. It's cropped obviously because I've put the client's name at the beginning of the sentence. So I've obviously cropped that out for client confidentiality reasons. So it works pretty much like a souped up Excel spreadsheet. So this is the task. For example, this particular client owes the filing fee. Um, we're waiting for the client. So the this status area, this is all customizable. So I haven't started working on it, waiting for Krista, that's my paralegal. Approved Krista to send or file. Approved Krista to send the client to approve. So whenever I do a task, it's a lot easier for me to just, you know, click on one of these little boards and change the task rather than write an email saying, hey, this is what I need you to do. So these are the statuses that I use most often. Obviously, this is customizable. You can do whatever you'd like. Um, for example, this is a new client and so I'm waiting for the client to pay. So this is hold for client payment. And same thing for this particular client, I'm holding for client payment. So this just kind of gives you a quick overview where everything else is with status. This obviously is assigned to who. Um, Krista, is my paralegal. She is Sandy from SpongeBob SquarePants. I am Princess Jasmine from Aladdin, obviously. Um, this is date. You can add a date to it if you want to assign a due date for a task. And the great thing about this is it syncs with your Google Calendar. So if you assign a date to any task anywhere on its board and it's synced with your Google Calendar, then it's automatically going to show up on your Google Calendar. This is for links. So you can actually link to pretty much any hyperlink. I use a server where all of my files have their own unique link. So if she needs to me to review something, she can put in a task, put in a fee agreement, whatever it is, put in the link. I can just click on and look on it, look at it, which is really great for when I'm doing things on my phone. That comes into play more with tasks versus administrative and money stuff. So I'll show you that a little later. So the next group that I have in this particular area is cases needed needing finalization. So I don't know about you, but sometimes you just kind of get a cluster of cases that are all sort of in the same 
the same stage of the case and it just becomes sort of a log jam and you need to figure out what do I need to do to push all these cases out. So this is a list of all the cases that I've settled and we're just waiting on final paperwork. So again, all of these statuses are customizable um, and they're sortable as well. So if you want to sort by a particular area, you can. Um, so for example, for these particular cases, we're waiting for the judge to do something. In these particular cases, we're waiting for either the opposing party or the opposing counsel to do something. Waiting for client, waiting for me. I will admit that I'm usually the log jam in these situations. So having a brightly colored sort of alarm blaring at me, hey, you know, get off your behind and do something is very helpful to me. So when I'm done doing something, I can just change it to waiting for Krista, working on it on hold done if it goes to done then it automatically is going to um, drop out of this board into the completed section um, so it's actually kind of a nice feeling of accomplishment so again these are all sortable by um, by whichever categories you choose all these categories across the top all the rows across the top are also customizable so the columns that you see here are not necessarily the columns that you have to set up you can set up whatever columns you want and within each column you can create whatever you like so for example if i want to add and call them to the right i can i can add status text people timeline date This is an example of other things that you can add. I can add a status. I can add a link to an item. I can mirror a different board, a checkbox. Really, the options are kind of unlimited in terms of the things that, that Monday.com is going to allow you to put on your Excel spreadsheet, which is going to be obviously more than a regular spreadsheet would actually do. So this section here is really the meat of my task list. Um, it's, so right now there's no filter on it, so that w that so that means everything that's on this task list is going to show up, which obviously makes it look a little bit cluttered. My default task is going to be tasks that are not that are assigned to me and then have not been completed. Um, and I'll and up above I'll show you how you can set a default for your filters, or you can clear filters. You can easily add filters to it, and you can filter by any number of dozens of different things that you want to. You can filter by done, not done, by who is it assigned to, when it was assigned. You can filter by priority. You can filter by um, alphabet. You can filter by date. All of those things just to make your board look a little less cluttered. So the, here's everything. So these are all the tasks that are currently in my firm right now that need to get done. So these usually are going to be assigned to somebody, um, either to Ashley, um, my legal assistant, to Krista, my paralegal, or to myself. This can be easily sorted by um, person, so it's easily to, to group together. You know, if if you if you want to focus on the things that you just want to do, um, again, you can focus by you can sort by status, you can sort by date. Um, so I'm going to sort it back by the original. Okay, so again, these are all the different statuses that you can pick. Again, date syncs with Google Calendar. So if there's something that needs to be done today, she, my paralegal can just put the date on today and it's automatically gonna sync with my Google Calendar. The link to me is magic. When I'm in my phone and I need to review something really quick, a good faith letter, discovery that needs to go out, um, a quick email, she can send me a link. And this link here is to Ignite. I use a server. I'll probably different, do a completely different video on my server, but my server allows for every single document that I've ever created in life, it has its own unique link. So she can link directly to a document. So if I need to review something very quickly on my phone, I can just click on the link, it opens a document, I'm done. Um, so when I'm done reviewing it, I can just click on this and say approved, either send a client to approve or approved, um, Krista can go ahead and file it. So really just a matter of 30 seconds, I can review, hit the next status, and I'm done. There's nothing else that I need to do. And it's automatically assigned to her. There's no million and one emails going back and forth. Hey, did you do this? Hey, what's the status of this? So this is also helpful for those tasks that you, you know, assign someone to do something and you don't know what's going on with it. And you don't, if you have a practice management system, I suppose you could put it in the notes. You could go look at the notes. Honestly, it's kind of a waste of time. I like to kind of have this high level 30,000 foot view of everything that's going on at once where all the information can be contained in one place. So if I want to know what's going on, I can just look. For example, in this case, 
um, we are waiting on an order for a process server. We filed a motion, so we're just waiting, waiting right now for the court to sign our order. So this really cuts down on the back and forth, the emails, the instant messages, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, because everything is contained here. This is the time tracking. I don't use the time tracking because um, I'm mostly flat fee. My paralegal uses the time tracking because I actually pay her by the hour. So she can just click on this, this blue button here and it'll start tracking the task. And so anytime she does a task, she can hit play, it automatically tracks it and it can export to a timesheet as well. So for those of you who are hourly biz billers and are thinking about replacing a practice management system with something like this, this is a way to track time without necessarily having to do it manually. So this, this board here really is the guts of my task list. Um, so we'll go up here and show you the filters. So up here are the filters. Um, Regina tasks obviously is the default filter. If I actually just hit refresh, it's going to default to just my tasks. And as you can see, everything went away that's not just assigned to me. Here you can filter by, again, a million different things. You can filter by the name of the project, you can filter by status, you can filter by date, you can filter by um, folder, folder link, time tracking, just all kinds of things. Okay, just to wrap up, here is the automation center. So these are all the things that you can do to automate your boards. As you can see, there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of options. There probably isn't going to be anything that you want to automate that is it's not going to be on here. Um, they've got everything. Um, so here it's, it's sorted by group. These are just notifications. If you just want to be notified when something happens, that's that automation. If there's a status change and you want something to happen, that's that. So this on the left just helps kind of sort through the automation so you can pick the ones that you want. Um, dependencies are a little fancier. They work more for workflows because it includes dates. I tend not to get that fancy with it. I only have 10 automations and these are the automations that I have. So if something is revoked, I just move it to the completed section. When a status is changed to Krista is supposed to send or file something, then she's gonna get a notification that she's supposed to send or file something. When someone is paid, it moves to completed. When a status changed to, um, oh, I've already done that one, so I actually, actually could turn that one off. So when a status changes from anything to waiting for our IE, which is me, it notifies me. So anytime a status, either I change the status or my paralegal changes status to, hey, Regina, we're waiting for you, it automatically notifies me. So I get an alarm and it's on the board. So it just, it's kind of an extra sort of kick in the pants for me to do it. Um, when a status is changed from done, then it, it automatically drops down to the completed section of the board. So that's what I use automations for. It, Again, this can be way more robust than that. It can be less robust than that. It seems sort of overwhelming. Monday.com does put out a lot of videos on YouTube to sort of explain each particular step. This is, again, just kind of a high level overview. So I think some of you may look at this and say, it's too much. I don't want to be bothered. And that's fine. And there's going to be some people that say it seems a little confusing. I'm intrigued. I want to know more. That's where Monday.com, the the actual customer service reps can help you. They've got instant messaging, they've got emails, they've got a monday.com community on Facebook, they've got YouTube videos, they've got everything to help you. And again, if you want to dive even deeper than that and really just kind of copy what it is that I've done for me to just tell you what it is that I've done, I'm open to doing that as well. So this is kind of sort of a teaser to show you what I do to see if you are at all interested and using monday.com or a similar task list to help you with your tasks. If you have any questions, just send a message on the Facebook page and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.